and Kadik has the puck. Kadik dumps it all the way down. It hits the Waxers goalie, so it's gonna have to be played. They turn, it, they send it up to 13, and uh, Adams, and he burns down the wing. He's got the centerman, number 14, with him, and they just about were able to get a shot off, but they didn't do so, and Adams got hurt somehow down there and he looks to be in some sort of pain and here comes the trainer out so we'll go to silence and allow this to proceed Are we live? Yeah, so here we go. Uh, back to the action. Thank God, uh, Adams, he did get off the ice. Yes. He looked to be in a little bit of pain there. Uh, we wish him the best, and uh, we don't want anyone out there to get hurt or anything like that. Like I said, I'm going to say it now. Last night, uh, C-Cord went down, and um, unfortunately, I, I said some stuff that I was say thinking in my head, and I was trying to tell John that he was tra calling for them to call the whistle, but... Oh, oh my goodness! Sorry about wow. that, I had to stop. There it is. Travis Number, Pone. That was just gorgeous. He puts that puck in the back of the net, and that's Travis Pone. And wow, here we go, 1-1. One, one. Mark him against the Timmins Majors. You the Timmins Majors that we have always seen the whole year. It looks like they've come to play today, yeah. and that's great to see. You can tell so, Markham's a little bit rocked yeah, after that exactly. one. They didn't expect it. They're the heavy favorites but today. But Bowen, he, he, like, he's, he's a beast out yeah. there. He only <laughs> played one game with the with the Timmins Rock this year, and yeah. he scored one goal. Yeah. So that can tell you how good of a exactly. player he is. And then you got number 10, Secord. Yeah. He's on the back end. He's played 10 games with the Rock. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, this team, uh, there's nothing. Yeah, Drobny, six games exactly. with the Rock. Exactly. There's nothing slouchy about them. They deserve to be here. They beat the Sudbury team, and and that, that it is what it is. So here we go. Let's hope they bring this game in, and let's have one. So Markham heads back the other way. That's 96. That's Gardner. Gardner sends it in. It comes back out. Burt's going to get that puck. Burt has it. He skates over his blue line, sends it up to Gardner. Gardner just dumps it in. Collins and Bert, or Collins and Gardner decide to change. The other wingers out there for checking still and Pickett and that looks like number 92 uh, Wharton, Wharton is on the puck as well. Here goes number 37. He's got some wheels, this kid. Yeah, Miko uh, Giannakis. That's Miko Giannakis in, uh, there he goes. Pickett's in there as well and it gets pulled out but the majors are on it. There's number eight. He rings it around the boards. It gets back to the thing and chips it up. And the Timmins Majors are on their way out of their own end. But it's dumped down. We're going to get an icing call. Yeah, great start from the Timmins Majors. Giving up that early unfortunate goal. But they really quickly tied it with a quick wrister over the goaltender's shoulder. And a little bit of a different pace of play today. Uh, a few more whistles and a little bit slower compared to other games in the tournament however we're sure it'll pick up two quick goals already and yeah we'll see what happens so here, here comes right back number seven just decides to take a shot it hits the pads that's uh that was the goal scorer i think number seven yeah yes. masadi masadi and there we go it comes back again number 22 for timmins that's uh westbury he's someone to watch as well he's in there so number eight just dumps it all the way in that's sarsovich and there we go, number 17's hard on it now too. That's Cataput. 
and uh, puts it on net. That was the big defenseman, Westbury. And the other D takes a slapper, but unable to do anything. And there we go, Westbury's chasing number 92. 92's in on his own. And the goalie oh, nice comes up, save. big save on the rebounds there. Doesn't get anything on it, and there we go. Timmins Majors try to get it out. Starts to back on it, and it comes in, and they dump it all the way down. Cardinal dumps it in, and it does, doesn't stay in, though, because Markham grabs that puck and heads back real quick. Ooh. There's number 37 again. Hits number two, St. Jack, and there's a big save by the Timmins Majors goal. He was able to squeeze that... Uh, chicken wing and keep that yeah. puck there. Early on in the first period, shots are Markham eight, Timmins three, already eight shots in six minutes for the Markham Waxers. So we have to watch how many shots they're able to pepper Chippa Fenton with. And Matt Waxers win the draw. Yeah, so here we go, it comes back. I don't know why it was blowing down, it hit the net, but Senk, he, he uh, Puts it out, here we go, Timmins Majors, puck goes to the front. Oh, here. oh, they don't get much on it. Now they got a back check card, stay in it. And it comes across to Johnson. Johnson there stops the hash marks. Johnson puts it in a little bit deeper to number 71. Every time I see that guy, I think it's Felino. And here we go, big save by the Majors goalie. He's tuned in now. Yeah, he absolutely and hopefully is. Let's, let's, let, let's let him have a game. and. Let's see if these majors can keep this tied 1-1, one, one, move forward and put another one in. Yeah, 13.41 left in this period. Yeah, he's absolutely locked in. Jared Chippa Fenton, he's not letting anything easy by him. It's, Just, Ch it's Fenton Chippewa. Fenton Chippewa, sorry. That's okay. That's and here's Tate up. Collins walking in, like yeah. you said. Big boy plays a little bit Big like Nick boy. Foligno. And oh, yeah. that was a sneaky one. He looks like uh, Foligno, <laughs> like the father Foligno. I don't know if you'd remember the father, Felino. He oh, played that's... for Toronto Maple Leafs. And oh, he, I grew up in a Montreal household, well, buddy. <laughs> that's too bad for you. <laughs> well, 24 cups isn't too bad, well, but that's all too, before too. my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Markham's on the way back. Number 28 gets it. That's Burt, or 78. Burt gets it. Goes back, and 27 decides to turn around and get more people. That's Manicus. Manicus, number... Uh, sends it back up front, and here we go. 91 behind. Oh it's my goodness! Fun. Wow. Tate Number Collins. Number 71 Collins. I, it was. It happened so quick that I didn't even have time to call the game. Called that play. I think it was number. It was number, I saw exactly what happened. But it was number 90. Net, yeah. It was number was 91, him? Matt yeah. Johnson. He waited, he was patient, but as soon as he saw his passing, they took him a split second, over. sent the puck. That's gorgeous. That's yeah. why probably why he has the A on his jersey, One is them, because yeah. he's setting up his teammates like that. Here we go, Westbury. Westbury's working hard. He turns, loses his man, sends it up to the winger. Winger chips it to the forward. The forward's unable to play the puck. Westbury's there again. He's pinching right on his blue line. And the uh, the winger plays the man. And it comes all the way into the majors end. The majors. Oh, fall. And uh, we've got one of them kicking it. And it looks like number 14 or 16 for uh, Markham has the puck now. That's Cruz it. Cruz it. But it comes back to the D. And it comes back to Cruz it. Burt shoots, but no one's there. And here we go, Lachance. Lachance gets it. There's Etheridge, takes the shot, loses some power on it as the guy got his stick check on him. And he leaves the puck there for Lachance. Etheridge is there still. Etheridge oh. has the puck loose, just misses it. Comes back to the point. Jombi gets it. Jobney, and he gets put to the net. Nothing happens. Lachance back on it, sends it back to the defenseman. Defenseman goes, was going to go to his other D partner, but he decided not to and take the shot anyways. Number eight sends it back to the D again. They get a nice slap shot, but no one is able to get a stick on it. Etheridge and Markham sends it out into the middle of the ice. Drop knees, number 19 gets it. He sees Markham changing, so he tries to turn and burn, but he doesn't go too far. Now we got Collins coming in. Collins takes the shot, goes up, hits the mesh. We get our stoppage of play to the right of our Timmins Majors goalie. And these Markham Waxers are just chock full of talent. They have four OHL draftees on their team. One of them, Tate Collins with a goal and assist today, drafted to Owen Sound in the 2023 draft. He also led the OMHA championship in scoring. 
So he is an absolutely elite player. Yep, for sure. And there we go. We get a stop there by the goalie real quick. And that's something I like to see is he's trying to control the play and slow, thing down, slow things down and into his own end. Yep. And I, th I just see a, a different step in the majors today, which is nice to see. Yeah, they're definitely, they seem a lot more motivated for sure. Yeah, for sure. So we get 58 taking the draw. That's Solomon. Solomon loses it, pushes it, and majors are headed back this way. That's Star Switch. He gets a shot on net, and it's free open, but they just couldn't keep it in. Timmins majors, and the defensemen are just able to put it back in. They regroup, and they're trying to get it now, but they aren't able to do so. There's a block for uh, Timmins Majors, but Markham's back on that uh, puck, and yeah. they keep it. They come out of their blue line, but they still control it. Koza, he's back there, sends it to his D partner. D partner moves it up to the wing. He chips it in. No icing on the play. Here comes 71. He's going to go in. That's Collins. Collins tries to send it over to a winger, but he's unable to do so, and there's... there's uh, Pardon me. The the uh, Markham player is unable to keep it in that end and on his stick, so he just kind of dumped it in, and now they're trying to get it back. But there's there's Caddick. Caddick loses it, and it goes to 37 again. Back out to 17. But here we go. Timmins Majors. They're coming down the wing. Caddick's got it. Caddick dumps it all the way down almost, but he just rims it, goes to Lane. Lane picks it up, 92 off the boards for your waxers, 37. This guy can skate, yeah. backhander, goes over top of it. Number two for uh, Sen can, Sen Kai had it for the waxers, but he just dumped it straight in, and there's Kadik again. He's up high now on the blue line, comes across the red line, breaks into the waxers end. Lane gets it, takes a shot. Goes off the glass high and over the net. Bam. There's Lane again. Plays the body. Plays the body again against Senkon. And here comes Kadak. He tries to get the puck, but it's swatted away. And Markham grabs that puck, and they're in their own end trying to break out. And they do so. There's he Heffenstein um, comes in. And Ooh. backhander from him. And it just doesn't go high enough, or else that may have caught the corner. And Markham comes back. They go D to D. Burt has it now. Burt gets it, pushes it all the way up to Johnson. Johnson breaks in past the hash marks, but the the uh, Timmins Majors, they were hard on it. And now we've got them breaking out. They've got John B out there and number jo Jordan and number, who, who else? Is it, and there, here we go. They, I was trying to get them, but they... Keep, couldn't keep the puck in the net there long enough, or pardon me, in the uh, Markham's end, so they get a stoppage of play, and it looks like the uh, Timmins Majors coaches are calling for it to be outside, which it should be, and it is at the blue line. It could have been all the way down, but it, they didn't, but yeah, the, I, Tim, the Timmins Majors, sorry to interrupt you, Rod. That's okay. They really had an interesting path to this tournament, different from all the other teams. Or maybe not different from all the other teams, but a little bit more unique. They were, were definitely not the favorite going into their tournament. They were probably the third or fourth most likely team to win, and they pulled off the upset. They defeated Sudbury 2-1. to one. Markham has a shot. Nice save by the goaltender. They defeated Sudbury 2-1 to one in overtime. They were always really competitive when they came up here. And they're giving Markham a lot of problems right now. Yeah, that's great. Eight has it now, and here he goes. He breaks out. He comes across the red line, carries the puck. Still has it. Um, tries to get knocked off. Can't. And uh, Johnson here for the Markham picks it up. He puts it back to Burt. Burt sends it up to the center ice, and it comes through. Number 27 now has it. That, But he loses it to LaChance. LaChance comes. Tries to put it to eight. Un, unable to do so. Sends it back to Collins. Collins had it, but he gave it away. Collins gets it back, takes a shot, goes off the blocker, and there we go. Timmins Majors, eight, turns and burns again. He comes across the blue line, gives it to LaChance. LaChance sends it into the center, and he was trying to hit Cardinal, but he just didn't get it to him, and now the defense sends it up. LaChance again. He gets the puck, but he turns, and Westbury now carries it. Number 22, Westbury puts it in. LaChance tips it, goes all the way down. No icing there, and he'll get a change. And here's Markham. They're, uh, they're, they have the puck now on their own end, and they're trying to break out. 
and they do so. Here comes number 34, that's Wharton. Wharton goes past everyone, he deeks, shoots, Ooh. big save! Wow! By the Timmins Majors goalie. Jarrett. Chippa, Chippewa <laughs> Fenton, yeah. unbelievable, able to stretch and get his glove over there and absolutely robbing Govadaris. Yeah, I was watching, the, as, as, as I saw that, I looked over at the bench and the, their second goal, he had his hands on his head going, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable way, Beautiful unbelievable save. stretch. Yeah. So here we go, Timmins wins that draw, they get back, draw, and he, he's able to get it up to the winger, but the winger is not able to get it out, so they keep fighting, that's Sarsevich. And it goes, dumps all the way in. And number 16 puts it on net. And Tim, the Waxers almost uh, were able to put that in, but they did not. And here we go again. Sarsovich has it. He puts it up and he just misses um, Esserhoff. And it comes all the way down. Number five for the Waxers back pedals. And he looks to his D partner, but he d instead turns and he breaks out of his own zone passing the blue line now across the red line and he's breaking in he's got three forwards with him uh, no one's dropped back to take his position and now we've got Senka Senka's in there and uh, he uh, one of the waxers dump it all the way down and they get a full change there except for one player and the majors are hard on it again now Caddox out there again and he's someone to watch yep and there we go Caddox trying to push it, and Senkaz there, takes a shot, blocker save again. 44 lanes on the puck, unable to do anything. And here we go, it comes up to number 18, that's Drobny, he breaks across, number 18 takes him out, pushes it to number two, but he's unable to do anything, so 17 turns, that's Piggott, Piggott. Sent it up to 27, now 18, that's Oldenhoff, Oldenhoff. He still has the puck over in the corner here, but he loses it and goes right to the back. Caddox over on the other wing now, and he's trying to get the puck, but he gets burnt by the Waxers player, and the Waxers player just tries to rim it right into the center ice, but he's unable to get anything to going. Oldenhoff has it now. Oldenhoff over the red line, the blue line, dumps it in, and there we go. Timmins Majors burns. Wow. Here we go. There's some speed, and... Nothing comes of that, unfortunately. And Kata, Kata Paddock was, any, was able to keep that in. And Timmins is pushing now again. And it's nice to see there's a lot of there workhorses today, boy. Yeah, absolutely. And here we go, 78. I think that's Burt. Burt has the puck. He slows it down a bit. He's able to get it out. And, num and Timmins is on their way back to try and go. They go D to D. And they send it over to the winger. And the winger just puts it all the way out. And Burt gets it. Burt goes back to his D. And there his D goes back to him. And they're trying to get across the red line to get it in. But they're unable to do so. Number 66 picks it up. That's Martineau for the uh, Timmins Majors. And... He comes out, and here we go. Gets dumped in, and now we have none. And there's number 15 for Timmins is pressuring, and he was not able to get his stick on the puck, but number 78, Burt, comes across the blue line, takes a shot. Nice pad saved yep. by Timmins' major goalie, and they try to break out, reverses it to behind the net to the defenseman. They'll try to slow things down here and take control. The chance, he takes it and he turns at that circle, trying to get an opening, but there's not too many guys open for that defenseman to hit, so they, it sends it right back down into Major's territory and, and pardon me, Collins is on it. And now Timmins Major takes over the puck and they're trying to do their best to get it out of their own end and there it is. It's sent out and down the ice, but it's sent right to a Markham Waxers player and it's brought back in by Markham Waxers. Now they're on the blue line. They go in, Burt sends it in deep across to 21. Ooh. 71 again yeah. gets that puck. It's not on his stick for more than two seconds and it's in the net. Yeah. He's got an 
unbelievable release on that shot. And I think the Owen Sound attack have a star Collins, in their hands. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's unbelievable. The shot Tate, is unbelievable. Tate Collins, unbelievable. Two goals and an assist. I think he actually, yeah, he got credited for that first goal as well, Mazzotti's goal, so I assume that was a tip-in. So Tate Collins on a hat trick, actually. Yeah. So there's three goals for Collins, and that, like you said, that wrist shot, might be the best wrist shot we've seen all, yeah. all tournaments so Here's far. Starcevic, and he's got Iserhoff and Cardinal out there. And on the back end, uh, I can't see right now, but, oh, we're getting called for a offside, so we'll get a whistle blown and offside here. Uh, and it's 2 minutes and 50 seconds left in the first period. 3-1 for Markham. 19 shots for Markham, and... Uh, Seven for the uh, Timmins Majors. Yeah, but the Majors have come out. And oh, they've yeah. come out with a lot of great yeah, intensity. Yeah. So here we go. Iserhoff has the puck. He sends it, but he has a blocker. Just close. Almost put that in. And the other Majors wingers on it as well. And Iserhoff's in there, and he's trying to help out. Starsevic is up in that slot waiting for the puck to come to him, but it comes back to Iserhoff. And, oh, he had an yeah. opening there, but... Just couldn't pull the trigger, and here we go the other way again. Cardinals with, uh, or pardon me, 17 pickets out there, and he tries to get in deeper, but he's unable to do to so. So Senkai comes back the other way. Senkai comes back the other way, and he sends it up to Pickett, but back to Senkai, and that comes all the way out, but number 11 picks it up, or pardon me, 16 Cruz that picks it up. And it goes back to the Timmins Majors D, back to the other D. And it's going to come up and try and hit the winger, but it's unable to do so. And it comes, that winger gets it. Now Caddox in there as well, alongside uh, Trippinier. And there we go, Lane's on the puck with Caddox. I'm pretty sure, yeah, and they try to keep it in, but they're unable to do so. 14 heads this way. He's headed towards the net. He's headed around the net. Puts it back to the defenseman, Senkai, and Timmons Majors just chip it, try to get it up to Caddick. Caddick's unable to get it off the wall. They're digging there for it, and you can hear the referee yelling to play it. Big hit by the Majors player. Goes to, oh, big save by wow. that goal. He's playing unbelievable right now. Yeah, nice he's, to see. He's white hot yes, right now. Yes, he is. So I'd love to see his team be white hot right now too. Absolutely. So here we go. It's sent all the way up. Caddick just misses the puck. And it takes a wicked bounce. And there we go. Now number 12 breaks out with that puck. He comes across their blue line. And he tries to hit Lane over there but he ices the pocket comes all the way down and we're gonna have a stoppage of play in Timmins majors end with 42.4 seconds left in the first yeah like you said the effort's been great for the Timmins majors they've been working hard they're the youngest team in this tournament with an average age of 15.9 so they have a that's a bit of an uphill battle already and they'll take the face off in their own end it's Piggott against number 18 Jack Sear for this face off oh it won't be it'll now be Number 37, Mitro, Mikro Giannis, and he loses Mikro Giannis, his face yes. Off. He loses it, goes to the corner, though, but Poe wins there, and he's unable to do anything with it. So there we go. It's also brought out to center. Number 17 was there. He was going to let it go pick it, but he just couldn't get a handle on the puck. So now the uh, Timmins Majors break out. Number 15, Poen's on it, but he couldn't do anything with it. So he just gets it. Now he's going to get it back. He gets it back. He tries to just chip it up off the wall, get, tries to get it to the other uh, majors forward, but unable to do so. And Markham heads back, and there's our whistle to end the first period. So it is 3-1 for the Markham Waxers. Yeah, great period for both teams. Uh, Markham definitely the better team. Shots 19 for Markham, Timmins 9. That doesn't definitely doesn't indicate the effort of both teams because Timmins has been right there all day long. Couple more tweaks, maybe a couple safer passes and try to work more in the offensive zone and that can definitely change the scoreline. Timmins could go in there. It could be it could be a very different second period for the Timmins Majors. Yep. And great period from both teams. We'll be back in about 15 minutes for Rod Trudell. Unless you have anything else to add, That's my name it. is John Ostrowski, and we'll be back very shortly. Thank you.
Good afternoon. Welcome back here to Sault Ste. Marine. Puck drop again. Here goes the Timmins Majors. They're gonna they win that draw. It gets dumped in, but hits the boards and Lachance is able to put it all the way down or into the end, but nothing comes of that. So it comes back down and there's Heffenstein. He's uh, playing well on the back end there for Markham too. And there we go, Timmins trying desperately to get this puck out of the net, Piggott's on it, but the Timmins Majors are able to get it out of their own end and that's uh, number, number nine, or pardon me, eight there for uh, Timmins is unable to do so. And here's Markham, they're trying to get another goal here. Puts it Ooh. in front. Oh, he it almost like it was slides it, but it was uh, Chippewa was able to yeah. put it and close his pads. And you could see it, though, from where yeah. we are. Oh, to me, it looked like it might have squeaked oh. in, but uh. I suppose it didn't. And yeah. shots are now exactly shots are now 20 to 9 for Markham. And that's not indicative of the Timmins quality of play this first period. They played awesome. Yeah. So here we go. Cardinal will take the draw for Timmins against Collins for Markham. And Puck drop, Collins wins that draw, comes back, goes over and it hits the mesh and back out of play. It'll just be another face off to the left of Chippa Fenton and 3-1 after the first period. Three, All three goals scored by number 71, Tate Collins. He had to tip in on the first goal and then two crazy fast wristers that nobody in the arena I don't think saw. He just has quite a rocket on his stick. Yeah. So here we go, that's Collins there. Oh, to, oh big sends it out to, that's number eight who got that. Go, go Videris, and here he is again. Tries to send out front, he does send it back. Collins, he got the rebound, but there's Chippewa again. He keeps it out, and uh, that's one line to reckon there. Johnson, Collins, and uh, number eight there, go Videris. Yeah, that's three big boys and three really great yeah, scorers. Yeah, we got Bird on the back end as well as number 27, who is uh, Man Manicus. And Lucas Manicus, another OHL draftee, yes. 2023 Flint prospect. Uh, yeah. So there we go, Major's goalie. I love how the defensemen are allowing the goalie to see the puck now come yeah. through the shooting lanes. They're pushing their forwards off. So that's something that's been changed. And Collins takes the drop again here. And here he wins it, back to June, but Timmons is able to get that off of him. And Kadic dumps it down. Here comes Poon. Or no, here comes 16 to get it. Lane's in there as well. It comes back to the point. Timmons Majors keeps it in the ma well, Markham's end. Back to Kadic. Kadic's behind the net. He has uh, Lane with him. They're fighting for that puck. Defenseman pinches in. He dumps it back down to Kadic. But the, the D keeps going around and he's able to push it in deeper. Now that forward there, 16. That's Trepanier, he's able to put it back in and there's Lane on the puck again, but he missed his man and it's sent all the way across to Collins. Collins there, back to Manicus. He's, oh, goes back to Manicus and straight over to number eight, Govindaris, and he just puts it in the net. Yeah, beautiful goal by Govindaris and that's that Collins, Johnson, Govindaris line scoring once again. Yeah. And like you said, that was all Manicus who didn't play as much in the first period and now he's getting a bit more ice time, which is nice for him. And gonna be a score of four to one. And we have number 13, Nathan Adams, who took a brutal shot. Oh, nice to see him back In the first out period, there. Yeah. yeah. He's back out there and he looks just as good yeah. as he always does, always. I will say another thing, yesterday the C-Cord uh, got hurt and uh, he's not playing today, so uh, he was the player that was calling for the whistle, and uh, and we and they don't blow the. That's what I was trying to get at. Is back in the day when I played hockey, if you went down hurt, they blew the whistle yeah. right away. That rule's gone now. So unless there's blood or unless it's you know that the guy's legs like twisted, broken off, they're not blowing the whistle down until you touch the puck. Oh, beautiful oh. shot by hit the crossbar. Markham. They hit the crossbar, but that's what I was trying to get at. And there he goes. Number 16 puts it in the net short side right where the last shot went, but it was just a little bit lower below the blocker, and he throws that into the net. That's 
number 16 cruise it and now this markham waxer team they certainly are cruising yeah mason cruzette a omha u18 all-star and a one-time cehl player of the week certainly 2007 born 17 year old is certainly yeah. going to have quite the hockey career as all of these young men will have at uh, one level or another i assume yeah close and it dumps it all the way in and here we go and there's adams he tries but no one was there so it's pushed out and there we go timmons headed back the other way it goes off of another markham player and he got a stinger there that's, yeah, for, that's sure. for sure and it comes back to the d goes straight through but the goalie was able to get uh something on it and keep it out of the net and there we go comes back hits seven back to 14 and oh. there we go timmons majors again they're hard on that puck a lot more hustle in here there and here we go number seven for markham has it sends it out to wharton wharton comes across the blue line headed into the majors that shoots just misses wide now the oh there's LaChance. LaChance has it. He sends it over to the D. Back over to Catapult. Catapult misses it. Sends it up. Saucer scores! That's number 58. Adam Solomon with a beautiful goal. And another one for the Markham Waxers. That's three goals in four minutes. They are, like you said, cruising. That was Solomon with the goal. And that is going to be his first of the tournament, the 2006 born player with a goal and a couple new faces. There's number 34, Amari Wharton, getting his first bit of action this week. Wharton's, uh, there's Starcevich, sends it back and it goes back again. Sear picks it up and Ersehoff has it now and Cardinals with him and let's see if they can make something happen tries to send it out to cardinal can't do so there we go number two gets it that's senkai he sends it up to number 34 wharton wharton straight to go across the blue line doesn't do anything with it starcevich has it now cardinal there's a backhand wharton scores there's amari wharton. all he does is put it on the net and it goes five hole yeah, Amari Wharton, first shift of the tournament and his first goal. Oh, no, he's been out there a lot. Oh, he has? Oh, I yeah. haven't seen him. <laughs> oh, I apologize. I no, thought no, he plays a lot. OK, <laughs> yeah. And there's a couple new faces coming on for both sides. And if you're Timmins, you got to just, you know, keep positive yeah, however you all. can. It's you know, this is not what you expected to no. come out in the second period and uh, concede four goals already. No, so. no, but this Markham team's loaded. Like, yeah, this Markham team. It's Markham, <laughs> Waterloo, and Vaughn are yeah. right now the top three teams. And I'm not sure if it's in that order, but if not, it's pretty yeah, close. Exactly. So those, yeah, they're pretty hard to play up to their level. They're yeah. a phenomenal team. Yeah, exactly. So here we go. It comes back again, number 92. He's got the puck. That's uh, Heffenstein. And it comes back, and that's uh, Timmons. They're able to get that puck, and they're trying to get it out of their end. And it looks to be like they just can't mark them. Sends it back to Mancus. And uh, number 76, 78 takes the shot. That's Bert. Bert shot so hard it came all the way back into his own end. Yep. So now we're down in the... Uh, we're down in Markham's end, but Markham passes it out, comes across the red line, breaks in, 37 stops, looks for someone to pass to, gets it over to 27, and now they're trying to set up, but unable to do so, and the defensemen have to backpedal out. Pickett's there as well, and it's sent up. Pickett tried to get a stick on it. He's unable to do so, so Mankiss picks the puck up, sends it back to Spurt, and Burt sends it up to... 37, 37 comes across, he's got speed, comes in, shoots, scores! Top cheddar. And Markham is likely going to be passing Waterloo for the number one team in the tournament standings after this game with goal differential because they're just piling it on right now. Yes, they are. 
And uh, there we go. Something that you do like to see is they're not celebrating. And something that I just want to mention is it's, it's not that they're piling on the score. No. It's that in a five-day tournament, I understand there's – if the, it, it may look like that. I completely understand that aspect of it. But when the tournament is so short, you have to take goals into account for tiebreakers. You need to score as many as you can in the round robin. That's true. But I'll say something else because yeah. we have time. I've played this game at a pretty high level, and one thing is, is it doesn't matter what end you're on on that, stopping and just passing the puck around and playing keep away is a lot worse than not than getting scored on. Yeah, I agree. When guys are just passing it around, playing keep away, and you feel like the monkey in the middle, I'd rather be scored on a hundred more times. Yeah, you can watch those like Canada, oh, France it's annoying. games, and yeah. the World Championships, yeah. and it's like they're just passing the puck yes, around. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So here we go, and the Markham makes their way out of their own end. Number five has that puck now. He puts it in towards the net and does nothing comes of that. So LaChance tries to reach out for it. He's unable to get it. And Govindaris there as uh, Hart tries to get the puck as well. And he's going to go off for a change as well as everyone else. So we've got all the, the whole, uh, whole set of 10 players change and Adams comes back out really nice to see him not hurt yeah absolutely. and Oldenhoff comes back to him goes over to number two Senka and they're fighting for it against the wall down near the hash marks in the majors end the majors come out with the puck it goes in he dumps it all the way down chases it it's behind the net majors players on it two of them digging deep for it and uh, Etheridge is out front, and he's there but is unable to get the puck. Here it comes to Oldenhoff, or yes, Adams has it. He can wheel. Number 36 has it now, and he sends it up for to the Timmins Majors, and he's looking to send it to the uh, number eight there. And number eight. And number eight there, and he's unable to. Now LaChance is on it. He puts it up in front and that's uh, Cardinal with the puck unable to do anything and LaChance can't get a hold of it yeah. either and we will just make a note that number 8 is Philippe Lafontaine an Lafontaine. AP player for your Timmins Majors he's playing up and this is his first game of the tournament and happy to have him here he's 2009 he's a 14 year old player so he is far and away the youngest guy in this Timmins Majors roster yeah and that's another th aspect that we uh, I kind of touched on earlier. Timmins is the youngest team in this tournament, and I think that kind of... Oh, it, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, I think it makes a big difference having yeah. that extra year at the AAA level for a it's lot of like, these guys. It's like coming to the OHS with a minor midget team almost, yeah. right? So, you know, these kids are going to learn a ton this week, which is great yeah. for their, for, you know, their growth in the game. Uh, and, and, you know, next year come back even better. And yeah. I'm, I'm sure a lot of these kids are back next year, hopefully. Yeah, and, like, and, yeah guys like you LaFontaine. Know, yeah, exactly. Guys like Isher, or maybe not Isher off, but Martin who's yeah. 16, Etheridge 15. Yeah, and this coaching staff with uh, Coach Paula Blank, they'll work with this group. Exactly. And they're going to say, okay, boys, this isn't the result we wanted. No. Nope. But we learned a lot. We learned a lot about ourselves. It's yeah. wins and lessons right now. It's not wins and exactly. losses. It's wins and lessons. So here we go. Uh, Timmons try to break out again, and uh, uh, one, oh, and the uh, Majors are headed back the other way now, and uh, he Ooh. tries to jump over the defenseman, is unable to do so, and here comes uh, the Maj uh, pardon me, Waxers now. They're coming out this side, and they break down the wall. Here's number 17, Pickett. Pickett has the puck, and he's fighting against Trapanier and I think Caddick and he 37 breaks out with it and there it is and he's unable to keep it so it comes back all the way out and there's 27 for the Waxers backing out uh, Mancus and he sends it all the way wide but the forward he's able to get a, sti a stick on it here he comes that's Helfenstein it's open oh, oh my goodness it what does a not save. go in the net big save by the major goalie there wow and here we go let's see if that puts a little step in this team and Caddick put 
is there, but 37 again across, another big save by the Majors goalie. And here we go, Timmins goes the other way. We've got 44 on it, that's Lane. Lane and Caddick are in deep. Caddick's back there to help it out. It comes out front, no one's there to get it. And then the Waxers are back this way. Here comes 37, he goes. He puts it through his legs, puts it back to center. No one's there, and now the defenseman grabs that puck, he backpedals, and he turns, and he gets away from the guy, the four checker. Now it comes across, that's Martineau. Martineau sends it up to Poon. Poon, and Poon dumps it in, and the goalie stops it, and they try to break out. Number eight flicks it up to Collins, 71. 71 sends it over to Johnson. Johnson takes the shot. Govindaris is there as well. Jordan is there. And Collins there once again dumps it in. And there's number eight for Mar the Waxers in deep. And he's fighting all of the majors team. And there's Poen again. He gets it and he tries to do something with the puck and he gives it up to Sear, Sear. And he's back on it. He's trying, Martineau's back on it, but he just can't get anything together right now. They're trying desperately. That's one thing you can say is this team, it's not like they're not trying. No, they're, they're not giving up. No. So it's nice to see. And, you know, a lot of teams get deflated when it gets to a score like this, but this team is just hasn't stopped. Their feet haven't Absolutely. stopped. So that's something I'd like to see about the integrity of this team is, you know, they're coached well, and you can tell they're coached well because there's no quitting them. Yeah, and just like, you think about like even the geographical region of Markham and think about the guys that have come out oh, of that yeah. city. Yeah. Steven Stamkos, Jeff Skinner, Mitch Marner, like yeah. it's just such a hockey hotbed, a sports hotbed oh, in general. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's tough for these teams it's up. It's a population north. hotbed. Yeah, that, fair that's enough. What it is. Fair enough. But they do they do love their hockey to yeah. be fair. Yeah. But, but uh yeah, it's just They you, don't love their hockey more than we do in the north, though. So. No, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not definitely not alluding to that, but uh yeah, it's just in the north, it's yeah. always going to be an uphill battle. You know, I'm... 100%. Yeah, I'm from Thunder Bay. It's the exact same you thing, know. right? Yeah, of yeah. course. Here well, we go. Oh. Timmins Majors. Come on. Oh, oh There's my Adams. Adams gets... But there we go. But Timmins Majors back on the puck. So they are pushing, which is great to see. Nice pass out front. And that hits... Uh, it's, uh, I forget who it was, but he almost put it in. And there we go. Timmins once again. They're getting more chances here and there. So that's nice to see. 16 just tries to take a swipe at it, unable to get it out. So Markham Waxers backpedal in their own end again, but it comes out to Adams. Adams turns, sends it all the way across to the other winger. The other winger's there. Adams calls for the puck in the air. He tries to get it out front, can't do so. Sends it back to, tried to send it back to the D, but didn't work out for him. So here we go. That looks like big number 24, LaChance. LaChance sends it to his partner and he gets a beautiful shot off that's Etheridge I think yeah and there we go he's he's posted up LaShawns picks it up again tries to cycle it to Etheridge but LaShawns does grabs it again himself and that's one thing he does is he never stops when he's out there this kid yeah here he is again LaShawns has the puck again and when he's out there you say his name a ton Cardinal Back to the point and big shot. LaShawns takes a well-deserved break and now the puck's dumped and the and D will go D to D. And just something I want to interject and say about LaShawns and he did play two games with the Timmins Rock uh, getting a goal and an assist and he was also the leading scorer of our G GNU 18 league as well as our league MVP. Yeah, and you can tell, rightfully Absolutely. so. So here we go, and Adams, it went right by him, and Timmins sends it right back in. That's Cataputic, and... Cataput. It's like Catapult. No, oh, no, Cata it's a different player. No, oh, it's, it's a different, a different player. player. That is a... Uh... <laughs> I know. Oh, no, it is. It's Caddy's Catap... We have him on our <laughs> roster as Cat is Cataput, but they're... I think we yeah. missed a K in his name, but we'll have to correct that after this game. So here we go, it comes all the way down and uh, all the way, hits the other end and we have icing there. So yeah, they're definitely playing a much better game today, that's yeah, they for are. sure. They really are. It's, it's hard to not be, I'm sure it's hard for them not to be disappointed with the results, but they should absolutely 
hold their heads up high and keep working hard, try to get a few yep. more maybe behind or behind the goaltender of Markham, and yep. we'll see what they can so do. So Timmons' player gets called out. Caddick comes in. Caddick loses the draw, comes back. Koza is unable to keep it in, so he's got a back pedal. Uh, Trapanier was on it, goes over the... It goes into the bench, so we're going to have a face-off inside of the Waxers' end here to the left of the goalie now. 5.29 left to go in the second period. 8-1 yeah. to one for Markham. On today's slate, we have one more game. We have the Sioux U18 Greyhounds taking on the Vaughn Kings. Should be a great game. Vaughn coming off of a 5-3 L against Markham. They will be looking to avenge that, and Sioux coming off of the 6-4 loss against Ottawa. Wasn't that a great game yesterday? Oh, it was great. So all the way back comes Sear. Sear goes, tries to turn, sends it over to his D. The Waxers forward certainly is for checking. That's number 58, Solomon. And all the way down, and icing is called off. And Caddick was there, but unable to get it. So there, he's hard on it again. Always has one hand on his stick. That's one thing I have noticed. Um, but here we go again. Trapanier has it, and he tries to get that puck. Unable to do so. Lane gets it, sends it back to drop. D Sears over there, but he gets it back to Lane. Lane all the way back to drop knee again. And he sits behind the net and tries to decide what to do. Sends it up to the forward or the centerman who was turning. And here we go, comes this way. That's Trapanier and Caddick. Caddick's on number five, Koza. Koza, he's on Helfenstein. And, War or pardon me, number 37 breaks over the blue line. Sends it out front, shoots, number 92, shoots again. Jez can't put it, 37's on it. Another save. Wow. The puck won't go in the net. And Caddick's there, Caddick. That, all he has to do is get it out and he does so. Puan has it now. He puts it up, dumps it down, and uh, the goalie sends it into the corner. And number 15 still hard on it. And there we go. Four, and number 30. I can't see who it was, but Whoa, big hit by, uh, by the by the by the that was Jordan Timmons Marco. Majors. Now they they're playing the body, which is something nice to see. And here we go again. They stop behind the net and they're breaking out now and chips off the high glass and Jordan is able to get his hand on it and it, the icing is called off and the puck's behind the net now and there's the penalty there, that's for sure. Um, we've got a player down, we'll go silent and let's see what happens here. All right, we're back. Nice to see the player skating off on his own. He is going to go to the bench and may need a little bit of work done. It looks like he's looking at his fingers there for blood or something. But, oh, and I think there must have been blood because it looks like big number 80. Eight, number eight. 66, Martineau. That was the guy who laid oh, the hit. Oh, Martineau laid the hit out. He's gone now uh, out of the game. So... It is a five, yeah, it's a five minute major for yeah. Martino, and that's, that's, yeah. Wait, there, okay. He drew blood. Okay, yeah, if he drew blood, that's auto, I didn't realize it was automatic five. I thought it's automatic double minor. Well, it must be in, at different levels. Maybe at oh, this level, 100%. it's five, but I know at yeah. NHL and major junior, oh, it's totally only a double different. minor, yeah. yeah. And blood's like dropping water on the, <laughs> yeah, <the> rink. <laughs> and uh, quickly before this starts, I would like to, 
you read off the standings. Right now in first place, Waterloo, 3 0. Second place, Markham, 2 0. Third place, Vaughn, 1 1. Fourth place, Ottawa, 1 2. Those are the top four playoff spots. And Sue and Timmins in the two elimination spots, both 0 2. Sue will be looking to change their fortunes against their opponent at 6.45 tonight, which is Vaughn, as the goaltender made a great save there as number 31, Chip of Fenton. And I'll send it back over to Rod. And Timmins is making a change just to, no, three of the players come, or two of the players come off. And we'll see how they do killing this penalty. 2.50 left to and, go in the second period. And 4.30 some left in the major. And there it is. LaChance dumps it all the way down. Get it about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the nice ones when they go in. <laughs> and here we go. Waxers wind up. Collins sends it over to Oldenhoff. Oldenhoff back to number 78, Burt. Burt back to Oldenhoff. Back to Burt. And he's looking cross ice, but goes to Oldenhoff, sends it over to Collins. Collins puts it up. Burt's there, and he almost put it in. And there's Collins again. Collins back to the D. Oldenhoff walks in, takes a shooting lane, shoots, and it just kind of flutters over top of everybody. Burt gets the puck back, sends it over to Collins on the far side in the hash marks. And there he is again on that dot. There's Burt in that shooting lane. Dumps it again. Collins gets the puck. He's so patient with it. Yeah. And there we go. Back to Burt. Back to Collins. Top of the circle. And it, he sends it into the center. And number eight turns and shoots and nothing comes with it. I think that was Starsevich. And the Timmins Majors player nails Johnson and puts him right on top of his goalie. Yeah, wow. Like, so, sometimes, it. like, I don't get it. Yeah, I'm surprised just, it's not two yeah. minutes right there. No, it was the, it was his teammate. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> his oh, wow. teammate knocked the other player on top of him. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a little so, bit silly, yeah. We got Butt from the Waxers taking the draw here. And let's see. We got 324 still left in the major. So that comes back to Mankis. Mankis walks the line, and he's in the middle now. He's taking up a lane, and the two boys are, the two wingers are at the top of the circle. Shot from the point. Does, it does make through, but it goes over the net, and the Waxers will try to keep it in, but they're unable to do so, and there we go. It looks like Caddox hard after that puck, and he is, he gets to it and puts the guy into the boards, and Kills off a few more seconds of that penalty. So now him and Puin is out there. And number 13 Adams gets it, but he breaks in, <laughs> gives a couple dipsy doodles, and and that's it. But here we go now. Uh, Caddick is trying to get to it. He can't do so. So Mankiss just walks out, and he tries to set up Butt. Butt tries to break in. He's unable to really get anywhere. And Timmins Majors just dump it all the way down. And now they'll turn and burn. They got 30 seconds left here in this period. Send it all the way up, and there's icing. 2-12 left to go in the major penalty. And 24.4 in the period. And like I said, after this one, we got... Sue taking on Vaughn at 6.45 p.m. Be sure to stick around for that one on Sue Sports TV and True House Radio. Should be a fantastic game. Definitely an uphill battle for the Greyhounds going down 0-2. And, and they sure showed some fight last night uh, coming back down 5-1 to make it 5-4 in the span of about three minutes in the exactly. third period. Exactly, yeah, it was a great It was awesome. Period, yeah. You had the, just the entire crowd buzzing. Had about 275 yeah. people out here. It was great. Oldenhoff throws it in, he, and uh, here it comes. 78 tries a backhand, 37 picks it up there for Waxers over to the top circle. One-timer, and there it is. That's the stoppage of the... Second period, we'll go into the third with a lead for the Markham Waxers, 8-1. We'll see you back here in 12 to 13 minutes.
Hey, welcome back here to Sault Ste. Marie, here at the Northerns Community Center. We're back action to Timmins Majors against the Markham Waxers. Waxers are up 8-1 in the third, going into the third period here. And they started off, Waxers are in their own end, send back to Burt, Burt breaks out, sends it up to 37, and he loses the puck there. But 70, 17 Pickett tried to get it, but unfortunately he was unable to. It comes all the way down into the Waxers end in 78 turns and sends it all the way over across to number 21 who sends it back all the way to Elfen Helfenstein. And Bert has it now on the back end. Back to Bert. Bert's in the shooting lane, shoots. Tries to look for deflection, no one's there. Deflection or a, 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 a tip or maybe someone will block the goalie's sight. Because I don't know, he this goalie, uh, he may you may see 8 1 up there, but he's played phenomenal. Yeah, he's been awesome. He's been able to track the puck when he, yeah. like, as much as he possibly that can. That goal, that goal, that 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 uh, does not reflect how he's played, that's for sure. Yeah, you have guys just rifling past yeah. snapshots, impossible. Oh, to stop, yeah, that like, even pro, pro goalies won't uh, yeah, stop. Yeah, exactly. So here we go, Pickett gets it. Piggott's in his own end, brings it back to Burt. Burt has it. Burt swings, puts it up, sends it over to number 37 for the Waxers, who loses it, goes all the way back. The coaches are yelling for a change here, and it's crazy, you know. You see them yelling for a change, and you see the Waxers players going off, and they're banging their sticks, and they're frustrated. Yeah. And it's an 8-1 hockey game that just goes to show you how serious these guys, these young men, student athletes are about playing this game. Yeah. And there we go. He shoots 91 Johnson, and it goes straight in the net there below the pad. And I don't even know if Johnson knew it went in, but... There we go. There's another goal for that big line between Johnson, yeah. Collins, and the other one was uh, number eight, Govindas. Yeah, that's one of their uh, big checking lines, Govindas, Collins, and Johnson. Yeah. And they're able to put the puck in the back of the net if they need to. They're just a great, great, uh, you know, pair uh, trifecta of young hockey players. And it looks like the net needs to be rearranged. No, they can't find the puck. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> the main official came over and found it in like a second flat. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to get a droppage. And there it is. Gibson drops that puck. It comes back to Westbury, I think that was. And he dumped the, yeah, it was Westbury. But Esserhoff dumps that all the way in. And Koza tries to get it out. And Esserhoff's on it as well. Esserhoff breaks out. And Johnson tries to send it all the way across the cold to uh, Collins, but he couldn't do so. So the uh, majors come in. There's Starcevich. He's unable to get a shot on that net. He does get it over top the net, but that's about it. And now the Waxers will break out with Timmins majors are in uh, the neutral zone. It looks like they're starting to play the trap almost. And Johnson breaks out and he's unable to get anything going there so the majors try to head out but they're unable to do so so there's Colvin Daris again and 91 Johnson goes off and Collins follows number eight eight shoots doesn't get it over top the blocker there's Collins he yeah, wraps it around a, yeah no doubt about it did it go in oh no. my goodness no, he, he saved, saved it, it. Wow. yeah he pinned his foot up against the post and kept that puck out wow Beautiful. that's awesome by Saifa Fenton that's just mm -hmm. yeah that is textbook goaltending not leaving your foot off that post and not giving the not giving the goal scorer a chance for the wraparound that was just uh, that was a really great save yeah so here's Butt. Butt's gonna take the draw but he's kicked out so Adams will come in now Adams is in there. He tries to push it towards the net, but it comes back to the D. Burt has it. Burt shoots. Goes off a major's player's stick and into the corner. Westbury gets it, puts it up high, and it goes and hits the mesh. We're going to have another stoppage of play inside the zone. Yeah, face off in front of Chippa Fenton. And just reminding you of the game today, this evening, we got the Sioux Greyhounds taking on the Vaughn Kings around 6.45 p.m. Definitely stick around for that game. Should be a dandy. 
And 4.50 p.m. here in the Sioux. Score is 9 Markham, 1 Timmins. Shots are 38 Markham, 17 Timmins. Yeah, and there we go. 14 has it. Oh, Adams is wheeling now. He comes around. He's looking for someone. Ooh. Beautiful move there on Caddick. Does another, breaks out, gives it a backhand, misses the net wide, and it comes out to center ice, and there's the Waxers. They regroup. There goes Adams back at it. Tries to get the puck back to Adams, and he can't do so, so there's Lane on the puck for the majors. Lane tries to get it out, but he can't. Adams has it again. Westbury knocks him down. Eiserhoff's in there as well. He gives it up to Lane. Lane now. Lane tries to center it all the way out, but there's a hit. It kind of hits the number 16 oh. from behind, and so is that Huge almost hit by there. That so was number 14, it. Kyle Butt. Yeah, cruise it there. Gets there in there. Lane tries to go down to stop that, but here comes Burt. Burt gives it up to number 95, Gardner. Gardner shoots it in, and we'll have Wart get to that puck and get it out. And now comes all the way back to Burt again. Burt over to his defensive partner, all the way up to the winger, who tips it all the way down. No icing on the play. And... There's Wharton there, number 34 is out there. He tries to chip it and put it up on the boards, but he can't do so, and the majors are looking to put it somewhere. They send it all the way up to Poon, uh, uh, Poon and Poon just deflected it and went all the way down, so no icing there. Now number eight gets it, but he can't keep it. <laughs> Drobny gets hit by Gardner, and they both stand each other up. Those are two strong boys by the looks of it. And here we go, Timmins Majors fighting, still fighting hard. Down 9-1, but there's still no, there's lots of fight. I'm 95 shoots, and nothing happens. It goes wide of the net. Here we go, the Majors, they send that over to number, I can't see, Katapurek. Yeah, and uh, he wasn't able to do anything, but he does come to hit Gardner there. And Solomon thought he was gonna break out with it, but the defenseman decided to go the other way. And here Waxers will get a full change here with Timmins also headed up the ice and with a few guys changing. And there's our centerman, he gets the puck. And no, that's uh, Lachance. Lachance had the puck and he wasn't able to really get anywhere. And number nine's try tracking 37 40 uh Lachance behind or is up on the wing now and they just can't seem to get momentum going here yeah it keeps coming back to the same uh, to the same spot you know what i mean yeah it's yeah like absolutely i start to say something and i have to repeat it again but it looks like the net was off the stanchion there a little rightfully so, and that's, to be honest, I'm surprised that the Nets have stayed on as well as they have. <laughs> yeah, that's the first uh, <laughs> time the net got knocked off, I think, today. Yeah. First or second. Yeah. That's so, an anomaly, usually. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to get a, a drop, puck, puck drop inside of the Majors' end. So the Majors win that draw, and they'll get it out. Goes all the way up to that winger. Winger goes across the red line and ducks and gets all the way in there. There's Senkai, he gets the puck and he reverses it to his D and that'll be sent out, but the Majors keep it. Majors, Etheridge, he comes across, takes a shot, Ooh. just misses the top corner and a big hit on the Waxers players over there and there we go. Iser Hoff is back on it again and Lachance is here too. He's on the board sitting here and he will get the puck to him and here he goes, he kicks it up to himself and he falls down now. Now here comes Cardinal. Cardinal crosses the blue line. He misses his man and he shoots and it's glove save by the Waxers goalie, no problem. Yeah, nice save by Eden McParland. He's made the saves that he's had to and like I said, he had a 1.95 goals against including three shutouts in the Ontario Minor Hockey Association regular season. So he is a fantastic goaltender. Not sure if he's the starter or Callahan's the starter. Also possible they cycled throughout the year because they're both definitely starting quality goaltenders. Yeah. So there we go. And Burt sends it out, goes up to 
91 Johnson, Collins is out there and so is Covendaris. Covendaris dumps it all the way in, Collins chases it against all the majors players, but the majors are able to get that out. And you get up to the blue line here and there's a big hit, big penalty coming to that hit though. Yep. And uh, the arm went up quick, so there was no doubt about it. So the majors will go on the power play at 12 minutes and 14 seconds left in the third, down 9-1. That'll be number 91, Matthew Johnson. Johnson skating off. He was 15th overall in the Ontario Minor Hockey Association in scoring, and he was an under-18 all-star this season. Where did he get drafted to? Uh, Matthew Johnson has not gotten not. drafted. Okay. The players who have gotten drafted are number 88, Emerson Wilkinson went to Flint. 27, Manicus also went to Flint. And there was also an Owen Sound player. Okay. I believe that was Tate Collins. Yeah, Tate Collins went okay. to Owen Sound. Yeah. And Kyle Butt got drafted to the Windsor Spitfires. Nice. They have four OHL draftees, which is just a remarkable. I'm surprised, Johnson. Anyways, puck comes all the way down Timmins Major's end. And they're going to try and get a break out here on this power play. He rims it all the way around the boards, which is one thing we were told never to do. But Drombie has it now. He dumps it back to uh, Esserhoff. Esserhoff breaks in. Poen had it, but he lost it and goes over the stick of number 24, Lachance. And here we go, Drombie goes. Here we go. The big boys are all headed in now. They get to the back of the net and they stop. And uh, Lachant Etheridge is on it now. There's comes back to Esserhoff. Esserhoff sends it to Etheridge, pushes it back over. Shot just misses. That's Lachance. Lachance, it comes back, goes to Drobny. Drobny to Esserhoff. Esserhoff takes the man, pins him to the boards. Poen is on it now. He's winding up. He comes across, goes across the red line, and he hits the blue line. Lachance is still with Lachance is still with him. Poen gets it. He does not give up this kid. And he uh, there's a penalty though. Yeah. Yeah. Interference, not sure who it's on. That's on Poen. Oh, it's Poen. on Poen? Okay, yeah. that's Poen's second penalty of the day. Yeah. And he will be skating to the box. It looked more like a frustration call or penalty to me. Oh, there Which, was a, like, I understand that. Like, oh, there was a penalty against Markham. That was a four-minute. Yeah, minute. that's a four-minute wow. call. Wow. Oh, it's a head contact. Was that's it? Why, oh, yeah. okay. Because I have sense. in my notes head contact minor two minutes. Yeah. But we were informed that at this yeah. particular tournament, it's an automatic four. Yes. So here we go. And that's the Waxers. Uh, these, pardon me, majors, they get the win. And Masadi has it now. He gets it. Dumps it all the way down. Goalie's uh, directing traffic there. And Majors will get it and comes out into the neutral zone. But number five is able to keep it and keep it back in. And he sends it back to the defenseman. Defenseman goes over to Masadi. Masadi dumps it all the way down. Goes in deep. Number 16's after it. That's Cruz it. Cruz it's out there for the penalty kill. Or, well, there's two penalties. So for the four on four and butts out there as well but makes his way across the ice and unable to do it cruise it has it now cruise it comes across gets to the blue line dumps it in and they'll all get a change and so now we've got uh adams is out there as well as number 92 for the waxers Drobny and uh westbury with bertrand bertrand's going off and lachance and Etheridge is going to be out there now. So they all get out there, and here we go. Let's see. Adams now picks up the puck in his own end for the Waxers. Now he's breaking down center. He makes a move there on LaShance. He blows right by him, and he's given the puck back by his winger. But he gets chipped, and the puck's taken away from him. Westbury sends the puck up to LaShance. LaShance breaking in. He gets pinned down by the stick. And the puck goes in. And now here it comes. Goes up to number 92. He's got a way in. He breaks in on the Ooh. goalie. He misses. Misses the net. Misses everything. And he just can't put it in. And now Etheridge has it again. He pushes it all the way across to Lachance. Lachance back to Etheridge. Etheridge shoots. 
the goalie just pushes it into the corner. A nice save. And uh, it comes back out to one of the majors player. He gives it to Donovan. Donovan shoots, hits a mesh, and goes out. And we're going to get a stoppage of play to the right, of, or to the right of the goalie. Up and over, and yeah, that will be a stoppage. And just uh, looks like it'll be just looking at the standings. Waterloo is at 20 goals found and five goals allowed, giving them a differential of 15. And Markham is at 11 goals found, five allowed, giving them a goal differential of six. But after this game, they'll be at a goal differential of eight. So it's gonna be really, really close. That's fight for number one. It is a very important game tomorrow. We're starting it off with an absolute banger. We got Waterloo and Markham, both teams that will be three and zero coming into that game. It'll be the first game of the day. It should be an absolutely amazing one. And we're very excited for that one. And here we go, the puck comes all the way out, goes to Lane, Lane comes in, takes a shot for the Majors, and it comes back out to the point, and there's another shot, comes out, and oh, Caddick just got a shot on there, but wasn't able to really get it through, so here comes Gardner again with the puck for the Waxers, Gardner sends it out wide, and they tip it all the way in, but there's no icing as it didn't come all the way down, so the number 22 Westbury will pick it up for the majors and there's Lane now. Lane tries to take the body and uh, Caddick has it now. Caddick moves it over to Trapanier. Trapanier tries to make a move, unable to do so. Lane pushes it in deep. And Lane's after it now to the guy behind the net who's, who circles and sends it over to Burt. Burt sends it up to the Waxers player. He sends it into the middle, but there's Trapanier, and uh, he put it back into the Waxers end, so Burt will have to carry that back out and send it up the wing. And it comes up to number 37. This guy can skate. And here he goes. Oh my goodness. Breaks around, comes around the net, looking for someone open. There he is, couldn't get a shot on. Number 17 shoots, but there's a nice, beautiful glove save by the Timmins Majors goalie. And that play by Mikro Gionicus, he skated through one, two. Mikro Gionicus, he's yeah. unreal. One, <laughs> two, three Timmins defenders. Unbelievable, he is unreal. And he was, he actually scored the game winning goal in their championship game. Yo, he did, eh? Yeah, he did, so pretty yeah, good he's, accolades he's for that very, young man. Very speedy, Mikro Gionicus. So here we go, comes back to the point. Another big save by that goalie from Timmins and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, Chip Fenton was was an AP player for the Col Kirkland Lake Gold Miners of the NOJHL, and uh, we could see him get to that uh, level again as he's only 15 years old. He has a long, long career ahead of him at this oh, level. Oh, and he's a big boy. Yeah, he is a big boy. Yeah. That so here we go. There's Poen and Poen and. Uh, there's 37, <laughs> once again. He's out there, he, it's like if he's out there, the puck seems to be Velcroed on him. Uh, Is that Mikro Gionicus? Okay. yeah, it's like, it, he always has the puck. Yeah. So here comes Poen again, it comes across the line and he just did couldn't make that last move to get around, he almost did, and po Poen's on it again, but he can't do anything, so there we go. Bertrand, Bertrand presses, Poen or presses, but here comes 92, sends it over to a winger, and he can't get a shot off. Now it comes back into the corner of the majors, and it gets uh, and it gets put back out. So now we go 18, gets pushed over to Senkai. Senkai dumps it all the way in. Goes all the way to the board, but number 34 is able to push it all the way in deep. Now we got Westbury after it. Westbury's unable to get it away from that Waxers player who sends it over and shoots. And there we go, number, who's back? The, the uh, Majors player's fighting hard to get that puck out of his own end, but he's unable to do so. And none of his other players, they were just standing around looking at him, so that's, uh, asking for help, so here we go. Back out front, here's a shot, goalie save again. One thing you will say, oh, oh! my goodness. What a shot from the point. That was number 18, Oldenhoff, 
And I do want to make a quick comment, and I would like to thank Mark Burroughs for reaching out uh, to say that I did make a mistake on my end. They have five OHL players, and now I see it in my notes. Eric Senkai was drafted to the Barry Colts. So just to quickly go on over these Markham Waxers and their OHL accolades, Senkai's a Barry prospect. Kyle Butt is a Windsor prospect. Manicus and Wilkinson are Flint prospects. And then, of course, Tate Collins, the Owen Sound prospect. So five OHL prospects on one U18 AAA team. That yeah, seems like nice. that seems like a very high number, doesn't oh, it? Oh, no, it's not. Uh, oh, no? Not, not by surprise in any means in the GTHL. Oh, fair enough. No. Anyways, yeah, it comes across. There's a shot by Timmons. And uh, I did see the Barry Colt scout here yesterday. So oh, yeah? They, he is in the building. Nice. There are quite a few in the building. They try to not stand out. Yeah. Um, if you know what you're looking for, you can see them. But um, Well, maybe you'll see a logo here and there, and usually like a yeah. polo shirt and a logo. I yeah. think that's a pretty good And indicator. here we go. LaShance has it again. He puts it back to Etheridge, and Etheridge tries to walk through Goes behind the net, looking to make some kind of play here. Unable to do so, it comes out to Johnson and drop. He just throws it all the way back in, and Masadi picks it up. He keeps it, and he goes in. He puts his burners on. It jumps all the way back to Johnson. Johnson back to number seven, Masadi. Back to number 78, Burt. Burt picks it off of Trapanier. And here comes number eight for the Waxers, Govan Darris. He tries, and now 78 Burt has it again. He, he's, he keeps the puck. He burns, goes through the center ice. He gets to the hash marks. He tries to break back towards the net. Tries to get the puck back from the Majors players, unable to do so. Majors defenseman. He carries the puck up, but not able to do so. And there's Bird again. Bird made his way back to his post. And he's able to pick up the puck. Johnson tries to hit Gardner, unable to keep a hold of it. So it goes to the Majors player. Majors pick it up. Lane crosses the red line. He gets in. Goes. He's trying to get to the pass mark as well. And Caddick was calling for the puck, but he couldn't get it to him. Caddick has it now. Caddick's in deep. Caddick. Turns and keeps that puck, but number five's there, and he's able to peel it off of him. Comes back to Solomon. Solomon gets it and dumps it all the way down. No icings. Called off. 22 minutes, 27 seconds left in this third. And here we go. Majors hit that puck, and they're on their way out. They come into the Waxers' end. 44 lane after the puck again, but there's, there's uh, Gardner again. He gets the puck and gets it out. And there's another save, pad save by the Timmins Majors goalie. And he'll get a stoppage of play to the right. 2.07 left to go. And like you said, I'm sure there's a lot of scouts here for both the NCAA and the OHL. It sure, certainly helps having a Division One hockey team like uh, with so much history like Lake State right across the border here. Yeah. There's also ACHA teams oh, here. Oh, absolutely. I yeah. can guarantee there are. Yeah. Of course, so, our local one and all those teams yeah, out in Michigan exactly. and Wisconsin. Exactly. So here we go. It comes all the way down uh, Senkai, and that was uh, the one that we were told was also drafted to Barry. Yeah. Um, he's got the puck now. He sends it all the way out to number 34, Wharton. Wharton comes in, makes a move, takes a shot high over the net, and he just pushes it in deep, and the... Majors will set up behind the net. Here we go. Comes out. That was Westbury. Uh, and it comes. Westbury tries to reverse it, but he's unable to get it to someone. So they try again. 14 has it. He sends it out now. But there's number 92 for the Waxers. But he puts it right on the bench. And we're going to get a ice. We're going to get a puck drop. But it's going to be down in front of the blue line of the Waxers. There you go, 116 left to go, and they have just completely turned the speakers up. I can't hear myself thinking here anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> and face-off won by the Markham Waxers. Yeah, and there we go. Burt comes, takes that puck, sends it over to the winger. 
Winger dumps it in deep, and they're just pickets on it now, and he's just trying to get through it. You just heard the PA announcer, last minute of play in the period, and here we go. Uh, part of me, Micro Giant, just, just takes it back, and he's just trying to kill some time here. I just want to, we'll, we'll, we'll put some fast facts out there. Now that we have uh, we have 34 seconds left to go, the Markham Waxers were originally known as the Markham Jets, and they changed their name in 1961. And they were actually celebrating their 100th year of existence in the OHA in 2002. So they've been around since uh, well, since at least 100, 122 years. That's 24. 120. Oh, 124 years. There you go. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, the Markham Midgets in 1910 were their first iteration of a hockey team. Yeah. That is absolutely unbelievable. So we're going to get a stoppage of play here. We're going to get a delay. Or I don't know if we're going to get a timeout or a delay of game call. What? Oh, and that's the game. Oh. Okay. All right, and that's the game, I well, guess. 15 seconds left and uh, well, they have called it i'm not sure who called it we will never know what will happen in those final 15 seconds <laughs> oh so i guess both teams just jumped over the boards and they called it themselves it's not fair enough so it is what it is and nice to see the respective teams line up on the blue line uh we were unable to give our no, but I do have a note, luckily, if you'd like me to read Go mine ahead. off. They'll Before represent the, the both of us. Yeah. Number 15, Luke Pone, the captain nice. for Timmins. And number 71, the big boy, Tate Collins. Very good. Pone let's, Collins. Let's see who they choose, and we'll uh, see you back here at 645. 